What's going on YouTube? This is gonna be for the ladies. How to keep a man and understand your man. Well, there's a lot of keys that go on when you're dealing with a human being. Like, I can break it down energetically first and we can go from there. See, uh, men, we're active. Like, uh, in our nature, we want to be active. That's what our energy tells us. Um, to be masculine is to take action. And chemically, our testosterone levels empower us to do that. So, if you have a man that is active and he's acting within his masculinity, he's gonna have a lot of energy. So he's gonna wanna be up and about. And then you have your other kind of man that is not active and he, he doesn't have masculine energy ruling his mind or his ways. He actually has feminine energy. So he's probably more uh, less active more emotional, more um, intellectual, and so on and so forth. And how would you deal with a situation like this? Uh, the the non-masculine is how I see this play out, that the woman would actually have to be masculine in some way, because you always need a counterpart to any energetic form to have a whole, you know? Because uh, when we come together to have a relationship, it's actually two energy sources trying to be one. Two halves trying to make a one, which it should be two making two. One and one making two. That's what it should be. But in this day and age, it's a half and half trying to make a one. So ladies, I know it sounds a little rough, but this is the truth. If you have a feminine man, you have to step up and you know, give direction, give order. And to be honest, even if he's a masculine man, you can still give direction and give order on certain things. Because men, we do not like to worry about household things. So you may have to step up when it comes to like, okay, the dishes need to be done. Oh, the dishes need to be done? I didn't know. <laughs> we could see it, but that's not what we're thinking about. So do not get mad at a man if he doesn't take initiative. A feminine man, he may not even take an initiative. He may think, he may see it, he may acknowledge it, but he won't take initiative. A masculine man will take initiative if it even comes to his mind. That's the only problem. He may not even thinking about that. He may be thinking about trying to get money, trying to get the house, uh, a house safe. Let's take action on that. And he's way out there. So, there's little things like playing video games that women can't stand. Usually that's uh, that's the masculine trying to be active and get transformed into the feminine. Being more receptive to uh, a quick fix for action. And women don't understand that, okay, it's, it's fine for a man to unwind sometimes. But sometimes men overload on those unwinds of playing PlayStation. So you have to find a middle. Let them play. Give them an hour, give them two. And it doesn't matter if it's every day or not. But if you wanna correct that, you have to introduce that in a nice way. I'm not saying sacrifice who you are if, if you're like a really ah kind of person. 
but you still have to introduce a conversation a certain way or they're not gonna listen, especially if they're masculine. They're gonna shut it down. They don't wanna hear it. They actually play more PlayStation or whatever they're doing. So if you have a problem with somebody playing a lot, you can just say, hey, listen, I love you or uh, I like you. Um, maybe we should just try to get more time in. Uh, let's do this and let's do that before they start because if you do it while they're in it they're not going to listen because they're already in that motion and everything's online now you can't pause or after they start you got to have those conversations and you have to be patient with that now um, to actually keep a guy is one you don't want to step on his pride. You don't want to step on his pride. You got to figure out what triggers him, what makes him mad, what makes him happy, what makes him uncomfortable, and so on and so forth. Because if you're constantly going around people and you're trying to crack like little jokes, I don't know why girls do this. Like, like they have nothing to say, so they'll use you as a joke. So, oh yeah, he always does that. He don't know what he's doing. That is a no-no. A masculine man will argue with you right off the bat. Like, I'm a masculine man. I'm, I'm, I'm positive and I'm nice, but I don't take that. Like, I don't take that. I'll shut it down uh, and I'll make sure that it doesn't happen. I don't have to be aggressive, but I know enough ways to shut that down immediately. Um, so don't do that because you're taking a stab at your partner's confidence, you're taking a stab at your partner's character, and if you're going to be with somebody, you want them to have a high character, right? You want them to feel good, so don't take a stab at him, because he's going to be trying to find somebody who's not going to take a stab at him. Now, a feminine man, a feminine man, you take a stab at him. Like, you can take a stab at him because maybe it may activate something in him. Maybe it may activate something in him to reach down into his masculine energy to get that activated. And some masculine men do like that kind of play. So you gotta find that. You gotta find that balance. If he goes back and forth with you and he's laughing and he's smiling, Go ahead and still keep it to the minimum because you don't want to do that even if even if it's fine in your relationship to crack jokes. I'm telling you right now, like I don't have to be an expert on relationships, but on a psychology field, like on a psychology standpoint, like if you're constantly cracking on people and constantly like uh, making jokes on people, like it, it degrades their confidence. And they expect it, so they'll always keep it rolling. They'll always keep on cracking, even when he's trying to be serious. And that could be a problem. And if you always crack jokes like, ah, oh, you ain't nothing anyway, and even though you're playing, they'll start to take it serious at some point. And they'll be like, man, why are you always saying that? And you're like, oh, well, I'm just playing. Well, why are you always playing like that? Because you're yeah, actually convincing me that this is the truth. So you have to be aware about that kind of thing. And ladies, like, honestly, like, it doesn't matter who tells you what. Be neutral. Like, don't let a man dominate you. Just be half and half. And don't try to dominate a man. Unless if that man clearly wants to be dominated, then you, then you want to ask yourself, is that what you want? Like, is that what you truly want? Because if you're dominating a man, more than likely, like he has mommy issues and he's emotional and he has more feminine energy than he has masculine. And um, is that a situation that you want to be in? Like you have your own emotional needs. Who's gonna intend for your emotional needs if he's dealing with his emotional needs constantly? You know, like we gotta be half and half. We gotta have a counterpart, right? And here's another dilemma that comes up a lot 
in relationships. And I, I want to answer this. Well, I want to give my perspective of it as much as I can. Like, men in this world today that are masculine, that have feminine, that have a good balance of I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty balanced. And maybe my masculinity kind of overruns a little bit. And, and I'm trying to get just even because that's what we should be. But the dilemma with men today and women is that we're, we're constantly on two different courses. Like a man, when he's in a relationship, he wants to build a foundation. Like women, they want to have an image in their mind and they want to have an image for other people to see. They don't care about the reality. Like a guy that is in masculinity, he's gonna be very logical because that's what masculinity is all about. Being logical, being straight to the point and taking action. So what happens is that we get caught up in trying to pursue more money, more success, uh, more ways to get the family in a better, a better position. And sometimes women don't get that because they want to go out. They, they, like, I mean, that's fine because a lot of guys do, do consciously understand that you do need that. Um, they want to go out. They want to spend, they want to see, they, they take advantage of deals because they want the house to look better. And they're really trying to be um, giving and, okay, I'm trying to make things better in the house. But uh, a man thinks that you're actually wasting money because we already have one of those and you're buying another one and we don't need that. Like, that's what a, a, a guy's mind is. Like, it's not a need, it's one girl wants what she wants and that should be understood too but it has to be a balance um and women like they're about the family they're about the image of the family they want to they want to have that love they want to have that cozy house but i haven't come across most women that or ambitious and have that active energy that say, listen, this is what I want in life and this is how I'm gonna get it. I heard a lot of women say, oh, I would like to have that, but it's not like something that they're trying to pursue at all. Like there's no pursuit in it at all. It's just like, oh yeah, I would love to have this and that, but there's no pursuit. A man is on the other side, they're trying to pursue it. Maybe they're not doing the right way, but they're trying to pursue it. And that, both sides of those coins can be very difficult when you're living with the person because you guys will not be on the same page. Like if this guy's always going out, trying to find ways, and you're, you're trying to do something different, you don't understand. Like you wouldn't understand, you'd be like, why are you wasting your time with all that? Like, we got our family here. You're not paying attention to our family because you're thinking about the now. You're thinking about the now. This guy's thinking up the road. He wants security. He wants you guys to be safe. And he wants he wants a partnership. He wants you to get in. So, the ex all that, all that out, like, F, F, your man is suing something have his back a hundred percent if you think it's stupid let him be stupid as long as he's not damaging your your financial state or your mental state let him be stupid if you if you feel it's stupid if you think it's intelligent let him be intelligent but have his back 100 percent like all right let's go if it doesn't work you know well it doesn't work especially if you're young try fail move on you know, and then as a female, like if you find a man that's confident, that wants things, that he has goals, he's not gonna let you stay around if you don't have goals. 
Like, so you better get some goals. You better get some action. You better be active. Because anybody who loves their self, they're going to want somebody that loves their self. So that's another dilemma. Like men, like men end up cheating because like their women stops taking care of themselves. Because they're like, okay, I got what I want. I got what I want, so you know. Now I can chill, I can relax. Men never stop. There's not a lot of men that stop taking care of themselves. Because it's that active energy that keeps us going. We go to the gym, we work out, we're, we're aware of our bodies. And women, they just think that it's fine to just slip and put on a couple pounds. Or I don't want to do my hair today. Like ladies, I'm telling you, you don't know how crucial it is to do your damn hair. Just do your hair. Do your nails, do your hair. And I know that you upper end ladies that do have more class and that definitely respect you. And, and you are on the, the motivation and you're pushing forward. You got that masculine energy. You're putting that to use. And you're trying to like start your own business and things like that. You're an entrepreneur. Like you don't want to waste money. But you have to look. You have to when you're dealing with somebody else. You have to have that appeal to you because if a man like myself well I can speak for myself sees you and he just he sees that you're not taking care of yourself he's like well even though you look good like how long is that gonna last you you're not taking care of yourself you don't you don't value yourself how would you value me if we have kids would you value my kid like that thing does cross our mind even though like we don't we're not like men are not people men we're not like gonna sit here oh how is our kids gonna be? how is this uh, how's the family gonna be? like we don't think on that type of turn like we're straight to the point we want a kid boom like a girl like a boy boom we want a, we want a family and a business a business a business um a family business boom like this how we want it boom like girls are very imaginative like they like oh i want a business in ohio and i want it to be one of the best and uh i want it to be this color the building and that's great because we need that like we need that helps you get your things a lot faster when you visualize. Okay, here's another thing. Like food, when it comes to food, I think this should be neutral. A man should definitely learn how to cook. And if if you have your man getting away with not cooking, you should definitely correct that as soon as possible. Because it could be tedious, especially if you both are working. If both people in the house are working, both people should be cooking. Plain and simple, plain and simple. But if you're not working and you're a stay-at-home mom, there's no argument. Like this guy's gonna come back tired and just cook him a meal. Like they had this man exhausted, then get up and cook a meal like that's a lot like that really messes with us mentally it's like jesus christ like yo my day was this and that like he may not express himself because he doesn't feel the need to or he doesn't want to recreate that situation and feel that way again but you don't know what's going on in his day so so for him to get up again and go through the whole process of cooking that can be a kill and that could ruin a relationship. That could destroy a relationship. Just something that small. And for all you ladies that love to like, oh, you know, I'm tired. Let's just get fast food. That is a damper on a relationship, especially if it's new. Like when you're married, it gets different. Like when you're married, a lot of things are um, a lot more lean. 
lot more understanding of what it should be done. It really should be done. And another thing, media. Have awareness of how your man truly feels about your Facebook, about your, your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever. If your guy is uncomfortable with you posting flicks, then you gotta chill. If you want him. If you don't want him, do whatever you want. You gotta understand that. If you want him, and this is how he is, you always gotta find a middle. You gotta find a middle ground. It's not just, oh, this is what I want. This is what I'm gonna do. That attitude is gonna get you all by yourself. And it's gonna keep you there. Or, on the other side of that, I know girls personally that have that attitude and you'll always end up in a bad relationship because you will take the masculine role because you will find a submissive man and it's not gonna work out because one day you're gonna wake up and be like, wow, like I'm a guy. <laughs> like I'm taking the guy's role and like when I'm not feeling up to that, I don't have anybody that I can actually express myself to. I can't be that flower. I can't be that beauty. I can't be soft. I gotta stay being masculine bro. And it's gonna not just destroy relationships, it's gonna destroy you on a conscious level because women are not built like that. I mean, it's fine. I'm not trying to disrespect or anything like that. I'm just saying in the energetic way that you guys are supposed to be absorbers. You're supposed to take things in. You're supposed to be able to express emotions. You pin it up. And you got a guy that's going to pin up because that's what we do. It's not gonna help in a relationship because you guys are gonna, want, gonna both explode. And it ain't gonna be cool. Like, in conversations, you gotta conversate about the things that you don't like. You gotta conversate about the future. If you're gonna lock it down, if you're having plans to get married, or you if you're having plans to stay with somebody for a long time, you plan for a future. You make goals, and those goals will hold your relationship together. Why? Because when people when people have goals, they immediately become happier because they have something to look forward to. So if you have a partner on either side, if guys, if you're watching this too, this is really good. Uh, if you have a partner that's in a state of depression and they don't know it, <laughs> or they're lazy and they're just like, you know, not doing much, they don't have any goals in life, and they get mad that you go out or you're doing this and that. If somebody's getting mad that you're doing something, it's only because they're not doing something. That's the only reason. So once they establish their own goals, their own wants, even if they're your goals and your wants, and they get involved, that changes. It really does. It does. It's like they're not worried because they got their own things going. They're not constantly like bucking you because there's no time for that. Because if somebody's thinking about you all day and nothing about you, the, the relationship is not gonna last because our imagination takes over and it creates some bullshit. Like, man or female, we both do this. Like, oh, what is she doing? What is he, what, what is he doing? Oh, he's probably doing this, probably doing that. Even if you're the most positive, like there's gonna be kink in that armor, something's gonna happen, and you're gonna be like, hold on, I can't be this positive that I'm gonna be stupid. And you may create something that's not real. Oh, he's probably cheating, oh, she's probably out there talking to dudes, man, I seen this girl do this, so she's probably, she gotta be. And it's not true. So, um, my suggestion is to do activities together. Like, even if you're not in it for the long run, for one, be clear. If 
for two, if you want to be with them for a little while, you got to have togetherness. You got to do things together and open yourself up to being hurt. Because the more you open yourself up, the less you're going to get hurt. Because I know girls that are beautiful and that are great people, but they never open their self up. So they always end up in a shitty relationship because they self-sabotage and they don't want to be put in a position that they fall in love and then something happens. So they never get a good relationship. So don't contradict what you're trying to do and just let it all out. Just let it all out. Because when you get hurt really bad, it's easier to go at it the next time and make it work. Why? Because now you know. You start to see things like, oh, wow. Maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> like, or maybe I should do this. Let me correct this ASAP. So hopefully I helped you ladies out and if any guys are listening, hopefully I helped you guys out too. Uh, if you like this, leave any comments. Uh, I'm not trying to be sexist in any way. Hopefully I didn't come off like that. Uh, so like, subscribe, and leave some comments. Thank you.